pemphigus vulgaris disease is the result of autoantibodies against the desmosomes. If you remember from the cell junction video, desmosomes connect the cells together. So if they're destroyed, the cells become loose. Specifically, the autoantibodies destroy the desmoglein 1 and or the desmoglein 3. These are components within the desmosome. This condition is highly fatal and it is considered as type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. Grossly, the patient will have many flaccid intraepidermal bulla. So many bubbles all over the body, mainly in the oral and mucosal membranes, that easily rupture and easily slough off. The oral mucosa, as well as all the mucosa in the body, most commonly in the GI tract, is constantly dividing. And that's why it's mostly affected by pemphigus vulgaris. We will also see positive Nikolsky sign, which is falling skin upon rubbing it. Meaning, if you rub certain area in the skin back and forth, the skin will come loose and will basically break off. Under the immunofluorescent light, we will see a reticular pattern immediately around the epidermal cells. This is a sign of active immunity, or autoantibodies in this case, around the keratinocytes. If we take a sample or a biopsy of one of these bulla under the microscope using H and E stain, we will see a structure known as the row of tube stones which is basically the result of separation of the keratinocytes. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.